Okay, so in World Machine, we also can use it the World Extended Resolution. So let's look on this property. This is more related to the current project settings that I'm working. By default, you can see we have the render X um, extends and normal build resolution. So right here, we can select it. If you have it more than one extend, you can select and modify that select uh, extend. You also, from here, you can create a new extend if you need it for your resolution location. So right here, let's look what we have. We have it upper right coordinates right here. It's eight kilometers by eight kilometers. Also, we have it lower left coordinates width and height. And you remember where we set um, location. So we right here can set where we want those. So we can go ahead and for example, we set to four kilometers. It's all placed right here. And when we start rotating, it will rotate according to the middle point. So example, let's go right here. We'll set four kilometers by four kilometers. Okay, it will adjust accordingly, and we can set width and height so it will reposition properly where we want it. But currently, let me just set back to zero zero meters. Okay, one thing is important to remember when you start working with uh, exporting, like for example, in other application, VU or other ones, you'll um, want to kind of work together with this scale. So currently, you notice it's covered with eight and height eight. As well, right here, we have a terrain altitude. The one nice thing is to remember, it does not really matter what altitude is set here. This is mostly to display on a screen. When a high map with send back, it will be parameters from dark to white, from zero to one. That is kind of between that what is. But again, to know properly height, you probably want to look similar to this. So right here, maximum elevation set this. If I want, I can set to 1,500 meters, so it will apply it. And right now, when I start working with this terrain, one thing what I need to remember when I export, that is this terrain is what I want set up inside the other applications to be compatible, so eight kilometers and I want to have it 15. It's meaning the high map is still working, but look, I want to be similar to what I have before. So let's go look inside the view as example. And when I import high map, we have it several ways. We can use it a fractal terrain to import. However, procedural terrain or fractals won't be used in this. It will be used as a map, or we want to use it standard height terrain. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a standard height terrain for this. Okay. And also notice when we go edit object right here, this is our resolution 256 by 256 pixels. So if we're going back to our world machine, go back to the resolutions, right here you can see our resolution is 514. This is a world machine, the basic free version. When we start using the standard, you can see you can modify this to almost unlimited size. And this is what I will recommend to you to use. And we'll see in our project how much that will make different. But currently we're using 514, so it's plus one. We're going to use it 512 by 512 at least. Using any higher resolution right here in a view, it won't be effect at all. It just give a little bit more artifacts. So let's multiply, and we currently use the 512 by 512. Okay, next I want to flatten, and I want to go use it image as preloaded what we created before from um, World Machine. So right here we have it output. I'm just going to create it, and I save a 16-bit TFF, and you can see dimension 513 by 513. Next we'll go all the way the height. We'll click OK. So right here we have it, our terrain that imported from World Machine. Of course, you'll notice it doesn't have it this high resolution as I wanted because in the basic you don't have this as high possible. It's one reason that you want if you really want to work with the terrain and apply very nice sharp details 
I do recommend for you highly to get at least standard edition because with the providing 248 by uh, 2048 by 2048 resolution, you'll see in our other tutorials how much difference it will make on the uh, details on this terrain. But anyway, so right here we provide it. Let's click OK. We have it our terrain. The next, what I want to do, I want to be sure that my display here is similar to what I have it. So I'm going in terrain size, and right here you can see images. So our height is set overall and our width. But remember, we're using 8 kilometers by 8 kilometers. And our height right here says it's 1500 meters. So we'll take our main camera, move out. And if we look on resolution, what we saw before, this is will be a little bit more accurate to what we saw inside world machine. All this resolution, all the size, it's same. Of course, if you're going inside the world machine and you want to create a smaller, you always can go back here and says, hey, I want only one kilometer by one kilometer size. And I want this is about scale. We'll click OK. We'll go inside and maybe prefer small as the hills. Reduce stiffness at elevation. So you can work this way to provide just one kilometer size and work that way. So again, we can preview. So right here, you can see we have a small kind of adjustments. Okay, and here is our one kilometer. So you can still work this way if you need it. Okay, but right here overall, I just want to show you where you can set up terrain sizes. So we'll apply. And this way you look exactly the same as inside the world machine. Okay, so we specify our size. Let me go back to 8x8 eight eight as default in World Machine. Okay, the also scales currently have it higher. And you notice under scale we have it conserve memory. If using extend size, it will be checked automatically. However, I found the World Machine work very stable. It doesn't have it, um, as I noticed, any memory leak or other things. But I do recommend use it conserve memory if you have it some limitation how much memory in your um, computer can allow. Okay, in general, we have it our project after, description if we need it, show the project information if we need it, where do we want to save. We have it terrain altitude again, adjustments, and currently we're using kilometers. We can use it world machine units, but again, for me, with capability that other applications, I want to use it kilometers for this purpose. So click OK, and right here we're kind of ready to work in our terrain and after import in another applications based on our project settings.